All right, we start with uh, some pretty chilling security video. You see it right there. A man with a shotgun holding up a neighborhood bar. Good evening, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Jim Snyder. He turned from customer to crook in a flash at this local's bar out west on Rainbow after he was sitting there playing video poker for a while. Kelsey Thomas is live with the video of this heist you'll only see here on News 3. And Jim, police need our help on this one. We're talking about a bad guy and an attack that really came out of nowhere. He sat there and sat there and sat some more, playing late night video poker. He didn't look suspicious until he was. I saw the suspect go into the bathroom and he came back out about a minute later with a shotgun. That same guy holding a shotgun in the firing position. The bartender hits the floor. The suspect points the gun at a customer. Seconds later, he's yelling. He wants cash. Then the bartender gets up and rushes over to the cash register, reaching in for money. Pointing the gun, the suspect tells her to put the cash in a bag. Bill after bill, she grabs what she can. Then she walks over and stuffs the cash into her purse. Watch as he grabs it and runs out the front door. A frightening encounter near Spring Mountain and Rainbow. Dave Roberg works at the bar. Uh, it's very frightening. Yeah, she, she'll relive this in her head for a long time. The robbery took just seconds. Take a good look at the suspect who got away with about $600. If you are put in a situation to where you are in a robbery, someone has a gun pointed at you, you have to remember your goal is to survive the situation. So Metro officer robbery, Larry Hadfield the says the bartender did everything right. Give that person the money, give them your watch, jewelry, whatever the case is. They are just things. Your life is not replaceable. Employees hoping someone will recognize the bad guy before he hits again. He's still out there. He might come back. You never know. Don't want it to happen to anybody else. And we've also learned tonight that police have more than just surveillance video to go on. The bad guy may have left behind his DNA on cigarette butts that he left at the bar. Reporting live tonight outside Metro headquarters, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. All right, scary to think so many of us uh, like to hang out at those places from time to time. Thank you for that.